Okay, we're recording. Hello, my name is Donette Douglas and I am the general manager of WTJR Channel 16 in Quincy, Illinois. We are part of the CTN family, Christian Television Network out of Clearwater, Florida. And as always, we've got a lot to talk about today, so we're going to just move right on so we can uh, get all that good information to you. Got a lot of exciting things going on with the Christmas season and programming. So here we go. Last week, we had um, Darlene Holiday was our co-host on Pray 16 there with Pastor Gary Wallace. And uh, Darlene is a minister of the Secret Place Ministries. And uh, she's a great prayer warrior. And it was good to have her on the program. Then uh, we taped some of Woman Joy's programs. And I had uh, Donna Williams, uh, Lady Donna Williams with the New Embassy in Hannibal, Missouri was here. We taped a program that will air the week between Christmas and New Year's, and we believe it will encourage you and bring some hope into your life. And there I am on the set uh, to tape a program for the Christmas uh, week, and uh, that was entitled uh, Time of Good Tidings or Good News. I like to bring good news to people, so that's what our Christmas program was about on A Woman's Joy. Then Minister Darlene Holiday was here to tape some programs, and you want to be sure and watch them here on WTJR. And uh, John Furness was here and uh, taped uh, some programs. You can see he was on the study of Colossians. And uh, so uh, we're excited about these programs. And uh, great Bible study, yes, amen. And then we taped Pastor Speaks. We had Pastor Dirk um, Leffler, and uh, he's with uh, Harvest Church International at Plymouth, Illinois. Brought a wonderful message you don't want to miss right here on WTJR. And then we had Pastor Kevin Lingenfelder. And uh, he is the lead pastor at Harvest Church International in Plymouth, Illinois. So we have had some wonderful programs we've got to tape the last uh, uh, couple of weeks. Uh, getting ready for taking a little Christmas break and uh, from production and at that time we usually do some cleaning and uh, different finish up some uh, jobs you know here or work in the studio and the office <laughs> maybe clean my desk off but uh, that we don't have a chance to kind of get behind with when we get so much production going on but we're thankful we're so thankful for the great programming our our host our guest and we are so thankful that we reach out to the nations. We fulfill the Great Commission with the good news of Jesus Christ. You can't, that you couldn't want anything better than to be able to do that, could you? Amen. Amen. Okay, let's get to an update on our new tube. We have some donations, and we're at $14,266. And if you'd like to send a donation for that, just mark on your check that it's for the new tube. We'll get it in that account. So thank you for those that have done that. WTGR Channel 16 is your locally supported Christian TV station. We have five channels, as you can see right there on the screen. And your deduction, uh, your um, donations are tax deductible, and um, we are 501c3. And I, I just, we have so many faithful, faithful viewers that support us with their prayers and finances. And we are thankful because you know what? You're helping us keep the message of Jesus Christ going forth from here in Quincy. So thank you so much. And I know that you enjoy those great variety of programmings on all five of our channels. Amen. Amen. I want to invite you to join us for prayer here in the studio on Mondays at 1 p.m. We're located at 222 North 6th Street. We're on the second floor. And we do have an elevator if you'd like to join us for prayer. And uh, 
as always, like I said, we welcome anyone that wants to stand in faith with us, believing that God hears and answers prayer. Also, we're getting ready to send out our January 2023 newsletter. If you'd like to receive that, we can send it by the mail or by email. And the information is there on the screen. Let us know if you'd like to start receiving it. We'll add you on to our mailing list. And uh, we are have a put the schedule I should say we put the schedule for 16.1 on one side so you can see if there's any program changes and on the front we have information behind the scenes information program information I'll write a message and so we'd love to send that to you so let us know if you'd like to start receiving the uh, January 2023 newsletter amen special Christmas programming coming up Monday, December the 19th, we have the first Christmas, which is a super book program at 3.30 p.m. Then we have the Far Place Christmas at 10 p.m. Then on Friday, December 23rd, we have our airing the Far Place Christmas again at 6 a.m. in the morning. You can enjoy that while you have your Bible study and uh, maybe that first cup of coffee or hot tea, whichever you prefer. And then we have the Christmas presents, and I forgot to look up and put a time on there for you, but Jeff and April Davis, and this is a music program. Then on uh, the next page, on Saturday, December 24th, we have the first Christmas at 7 p.m. Again, this is a super book uh, program. And then at 7.30 p.m., we have Why the Nativity? And this is a program from David Jeremiah's church, and it will be uh, an hour and a half long, and I know you will be blessed by it. We have a little video we're going to show you here in just a minute later on in the program about why the nativity. Then on Sunday, Christmas Day, December 25th, we have Handel's Messiah at 6 p.m. And then What If Jesus Was Not Born, and this was with Jack Kennedy, and that's at 6.30 p.m. So we have several wonderful Christmas special programming and then the local programs, we have Christmas programs. So um, we are getting the Christmas story out. Amen? Amen. If you need prayer, give us a call here at WTJR 217-228-1616. Or if you get the answering machine, would you please leave your name and phone number that you'd like prayer and we'll get back with you. Coming up this next week on Pray 16, you will notice this will not be live. We will be taping this uh, because um, we will uh, not be doing production on the Friday before Christmas. Our co-hosts will be Pastor Terry Mayer from Hannibal and, uh, of course, Gary Wallace of River of Life is the host. This will air at 11 a.m. to 12 noon. We'll repeat it on Monday at 9 p.m. And uh, we will have a phone operator on Monday evening if you want to give us a call, and uh, even on Friday morning. Uh, if you give a call, uh, we'll have someone there to pray with you and take your request. Or you can email pray16 at wtjr.org. Then you and me, the CTN live prayer program out of Clearwater, Florida. We air on Monday through Friday at 11.30 p.m. And their number that you can call anytime for prayer is 1-800-716-7729. And also, uh, if you would like to send a donation for disaster relief from the Hurricane Ion, well, CTN and uh, Revival Ministries and the Hands of Compassion that CTN has have gone together to reach out and help those people that went through this disaster just a few months ago. You can call in a donation at 1-800-914-9660, or you can send it to CTN at 6922 142nd Avenue, Largo, Florida, 33771. And soul winning training, if you're interested in uh, being trained of how to approach people and tell them about Jesus, then give me a call. We would love to pray with you, to encourage you. We use the soul winning script from the Great Awakening. 
And our theme scripture is Mark 16, 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen, amen. CTN app. Have you downloaded that yet? You can download it on your phone, your uh, your uh, Android, your iPhone, and your tablet. Also, it's on Roku and Apple TV app. So if you can download this, you have all of the CTN affiliate stations, of which WTJR is one. And you can take it with you. Isn't that wonderful? And I have gotten it out a few times and watched it when I'm out away from home. So encourage uh, your friends also. Tell them about it. And uh, hopefully when next week when I say, have you got it on your, uh, have you put the CTN app on your phone yet? You can say, yes, okay? <laughs> God bless you. And then also friend us on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. We have the live programming, which is Pray 16, on Fridays at 11 a.m. We have Revive America, the first Tuesday of the month, with Evangelist Robert Newton on there. We have uh, other videos and spots that Jim Wilson, our engineer, puts on from time to time. And some of our local programming, we put information of who the guests will be in the coming week. And we put community calendar of events. So please check out our Facebook page, WTJR TV. Hometown happenings. If your church is having an event or an outreach ministry event, uh, please give us a, a call or send us information, even email TV16, WTJR.org. Uh, we will get it on our hometown happenings. And today, I want to tell you about Christmas Eve candlelight service. That'll be at 7 p.m. at the Church of Full Gospel, uh, located in Keokuk, Iowa, at 2201 Timea Street. And it's Saturday, December 24th, of course, on Christmas Eve. If more information, you can call Pastor Steve at 319-795-2870. And then we have a New Year's Eve uh, celebration on Saturday, December 31st at 5 p.m. This is at the Church of New Beginnings, 2244 McKinley Avenue in Keokuk, Iowa. They start at 5 o'clock. It's for family fun for all ages. They'll have games, trivia, and uh, food, I am sure, snacks. Uh, bring a song, a skit, read a poem. Uh, you know, share on that night and be a part of the New Year celebration at Church of New Beginnings in Keokuk, Iowa. Again, if you send your information two weeks ahead of time, please send it two weeks ahead of time, and we can get it on our hometown happenings, WTJR Community Calendar, Channel 16.1, our Facebook page, WTJR TV. And you can also email us at tv16 at wtjr.org. Amen, amen, amen. I'm almost winded after that and uh, <clears throat> getting a little bit hoarse there. But God is good, isn't he? God is good. I, I love to see the churches reaching out in the community and the outreach ministries available in our area. And so please get us that information and we will be sure and help you get the word out, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, well, tonight we have a spot, and I'm excited because we have a new program that's coming back to WTJR, and that is Dwayne Sheriff. How many remember Pastor Dwayne Sheriff? He has a new program, Grace and Truth, that will be returning here to WTJR on December the 19th. Monday through Friday, they will be on at 6 p.m. And uh, we have a little spot here we want to show you. It was made for the CTN station in Tulsa, but they happen to be playing uh, the program at the same time. So we'll just let you have Dwayne invite you to watch Grace and Truth. Hi, everyone. I'm Dwayne Sheriff. I'm excited about my new broadcast right here on CTN Tulsa. That's Monday through Friday. 6 p.m. Central Time. CTN Network Tulsa, wow. The broadcast is called Grace and Truth. And when you take God's amazing grace and you join it to truth, there's great victory and joy and deliverance in your life. I can't wait. 
to be on. I hope you can watch 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, CTN Tulsa. And CTN Quincy. Amen. Amen. <laughs> We're excited about that. Okay, CTN WTJR. This is the new logo that we have. Enjoy life. And um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, life, the only time you really have life is in Jesus Christ because someone once told me it's, it's uh, living in freedom every day. And the only way you can do that is in Jesus Christ. Consider eternity. We all need to be thinking about eternity because we all will spend eternity somewhere. The choice is up to us. The scripture I have for today comes part of the Christmas story, Luke 2, 7. I love the Christmas story. And the scriptures just bless me so when I think of the babe that was born in that manger. The scripture says, And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. This scripture came to me because I saw on Facebook someone had, um, it was a picture with words, and uh, like a poster, and it referred to um, wanting to know that we are saying something to the fact that we are the innkeeper. And is there room in your heart for him? That's a good question to ask ourselves. Is there room in our heart for him? I was looking as I was reading this scripture, Luke 2, 7. Now, you know, that's in the New Testament. Back in the Old Testament, it referred me to a scripture from Micah 5, 2. And I want to read this out of the Amplified. But thou, Bethlehem Ephrathah, which means fruitful. I looked up the meaning there. Though thou be very little... Among the thousands of Judah, uh, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. And of course, it's referring there to Jesus. If you have a Bible, my Bible has a great big black star beside verses in the Old Testament. That's to uh, tell you that that verse refers to Jesus Christ. So um, we know that the Old Testament is prophecy and the New Testament is the fulfillment of it. Amen? Amen. So I've seen uh, where it commented that where in the Old Bible, the Old Testament, I should say, does it talk about Jesus being born? Well, it talks about it in uh, Isaiah seven fourteen. Yes, and that says, I want to get in the right verse here. Therefore, and I've got that big black star beside mine here. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. So they prophesied there that a pure young woman will give birth to God's son. And the corresponding in the New Testament I've got on the screen there for you, you can read is in Matthew 1, 18 through 23, where Isaiah's prophecy was fulfilled. Now, in Isaiah 9, 6, now you probably all thought of that scripture, because that's one we hear a lot of at Christmas time. And that says, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And again, there's one of those big black stars, meaning that that scripture in the Old Testament is referring to Jesus Christ. And of course here, Isaiah prophesies that Jesus Christ will come as a baby. And Jesus is described here with several different names. And then again, uh, it uh, listed the Micah 5.2 that I read to you earlier. And Micah prophesies that Jesus will be born in Bethlehem. So uh, it's exciting to see how the Old Testament prophesied and the New Testament fulfilled it. That's exciting to me. I love to study the word. I pray you read the word every day. It will change your life. 
It will change your life. Amen. Amen. I told you earlier we were going to show you a little video of the why the nativity. And this is a program that we will be airing on Saturday, December 24th at 7.30 p.m. It's an hour and a half long. Why the Nativity? And it was produced by David Jeremiah and the church there. Just when people needed hope, God would send a baby, a king, to offer a foretaste of a better future. But why? Why should we care? And what should the baby in Bethlehem mean to me? Watch Why the Nativity, a powerful new docudrama from David Jeremiah, here on this station. Amen. That'll be a wonderful program to watch on Christmas Eve and get the uh, Christmas story. Like I said, I love the Christmas story every year. It just seems to mean more and more to me. And just to realize how much God loves us that he gave his only begotten son. He sent, in fact, it was himself, he came to heaven. He came from heaven, I should say, to earth as a babe. And he was man, son of man, son of God. What a powerful, wonderful story. And it's life-changing. Amen? Amen. Well, let's look and see what's coming up next week on our local shows. I taped a Christmas program, and it's a time of good tidings that will air here on Monday at 5 a.m., Tuesday at 9.30 a.m., and Friday at 7.30 p.m. And any of our local programs, uh, you can go on our WTJR YouTube page and watch them if you're unable to watch them at that time. Of course, we have Behind the Scenes. That's the program you're watching now on Fridays at 6 p.m., Sunday at 7.30 p.m., and Monday at 1 p.m. Christ Video is a half-hour music video program that's produced by Jim Wilson, our WTJR engineer. That airs on Tuesday at 3 p.m., Friday at 10 p.m., and Saturday at 11.30 p.m. Conquering Your Giants, hosted by Duke Duvall. His Christmas message is How to Have a Christ-Centered Christmas. That will air on Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. and Sunday at 6.30 a.m. Exploring God's Word with Pastor Robert New, uh, Robert Axton. And uh, the message or the teaching is about Moses and his reluctance. That will air on Monday at 9.30 a.m. and Saturday at 3 p.m. Musical Memories with Martha Reed Garvin. We have a Christmas program with a lot of the beautiful Christmas music. And you can watch that on Saturday at 6.30 p.m and Sunday at 8 p.m. Outreach Connection, hosted by Sandy Axton, and her guest will be her husband, Pastor Robert Axton from the United Pentecostal Church in Palmyra, Missouri. And he, they are discussing, and uh, Pastor Axton reads the Christmas story. It's a beautiful program you wanna be sure and watch. On Monday at 11 a.m., Wednesday at 9 p.m., and Saturday, at 5 p.m. Pastor Speak Special. We have a special program because we have two pastors that are discussing a message for Christmas. And this will be part one. Pastor Brian from the First Baptist Church in Canton, Missouri, and Pastor Dennis Thomas from Grandview Church here in Quincy, Illinois. You can watch that on Sunday at 2 p.m., Tuesday at 1.30 p.m., and Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. The Potter's Wheel with George Osmus. You can watch that on Mondays at 8.30 p.m. and Saturday at 11 p.m. The Secret Place Ministries with Minister Darlene Holiday, And her teaching is The Lord is Knocking. You can watch that on Monday at 9.45 a.m. and Saturday at 3.15 p.m. The Simple Truth with Bible teacher John Furness. Uh, the teaching this week is the study of Hebrews, part eight. 
<clears throat> and like I said, if you miss any of the previous programs, you can go to WTJR YouTube page and watch them. And then on our WTJR Classics, we went back and we have found some Pastor Speaks that have Christmas message on them. And you can watch uh, from 2020, Pastor Brian Stone, First Baptist Church at Canton, Missouri. The message is a Christmas to remember. And then you can also uh, watch Pastor uh, Jerry Spratt from uh, the Assembly of God Church in Augusta, Illinois, a program from 2021, God, Loving God and Loving Each Other. And this airs on Wednesdays at 9.30 a.m. and Thursday at 9 p.m. And boy, that was a lot of information to get out there. And I'm sorry, <clears throat> I got a little tickle there. I'm going to take a real drink. <laughs> Hmm. So this is an exciting time of the year. It's been exciting here at the studio as we've been taping these programs for Christmas. I pray it's exciting in your home. I pray you will reach out to people that maybe live alone, that are in the nursing homes, in the hospitals, maybe uh, have lost a loved one, that we would lift them all up in prayer. And as God would lead us, you know, maybe uh, we need to, call them, check in on them. Maybe we need to stop by. Maybe we need to send them a card. We never know. We never know what people are going through. At this time of the year, many, many people are very, very happy and they're celebrating. And then there are many, many people that are alone and very depressed. So we just want to encourage you to tell people the Christmas story by your actions, by your words, invite them. Even I know many of you have Christmas programs at your church. Invite them. Take them with you to church. Introduce them to Jesus. That's the most precious gift that was ever given. And that's the most precious gift that we can give to others. That they have the opportunity to know that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that is for whosoever calls on the name of the Lord. I want to read that scripture one more time out of Luke that we had today for our opening. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. I will ask that, you that question. Is there room in your heart for Jesus? Is there room in your heart for Jesus? I pray there is. And if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, ask him into your heart today. I wish you all a very merry and blessed Christmas. God bless.